Welcome to the DU Weekly Check-In. I'm joined by men's lacrosse head coach Bill Turney. And coach, let's jump right in and start talking about that thrilling overtime win that we got against Villanova on Friday night. Um, go ahead and, and bring us to walk us through that. Well, it was exciting. It was thrilling, but a little too much uh, than, I, than uh, what I prefer. But, uh, you know, first of all, credit to Villanova. They, mm -hmm. they played a great game. They uh, uh, defended us as well as anybody has all year. Uh, while playing good, good, strong, fast offense. So uh, credit goes to them, their players, and their staff. Uh, I thought we, like in our pen game, jumped out to a good lead. Uh, our man-up team was fabulous, uh, especially in the first half. Um, and so, you know, but once again, we found that lull, and all of a sudden we're, mm -hmm. we go from 6-3 six to three to 6-6 six to six in a big hurry. And, um, you know, but, but switching that around, the resolve of our young men and uh, uh, the uh, – the way Jeremy stepped up to uh, to score the winner in overtime, he was just not going to be denied, and uh, give him a lot of credit for that. We had, uh, as you might can remember, a lot of adversity last week. Uh, you know, some crazy things happening in, 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 with our team last week, and hopefully, it's all come together now. We can have a full week at home and uh, and kind of right the ship. The weather wasn't perfect, uh, but it wasn't perfect for either team. Uh, so, hopefully, we get a nice weekend and uh, see if we can get better. Do you think uh, the, the having an overtime win like this um, w with Jeremy scoring that game-winning goal, uh, do you think he remembers some of that freshman year that he had where we were on the on the wrong end of so many of those contests? Do you think that kind of stuck in his mind when he took that shot? <laughs> well, uh, you know, in the huddle before the overtime, Jeremy Noble stepped up and spoke. He said, mm -hmm. we will not lose this game. And so I think it was in his head, no matter what he was thinking about, it was in his head. He's now a senior. He's now a leader. He's uh, just been fantastic for us all year long. You saw him, I think he had another two or three takeaways the other night on defense, picks up ground balls, usually gets an assist mm -hmm. or two or three in a game and maybe a goal, but he was not going to be denied. And so uh, I'm just so proud of him, the way he's matured as a young man and, and as a leader that uh, he's, made, he's made the rest of the guys better. Right. So this weekend we have St. John's. We return back home to host St. John's here at home in another Big East game. Can you walk us through St. John's? Because they were with us uh, right at the head of the pack heading into this past weekend. Yeah, St. John's had a tough couple of tough losses this past week. You know, they lost to Rutgers and then they lost to Marquette the other day in overtime. Um, they're a really good offensive mm -hmm. team, and they, they've got an attack. These three guys have been together and really are top, top players. Uh and so we know we've got our hands full defending that attack. Um, St. John's, uh, you know, you always worry about teams who, who uh, their mentality is so strong. And St. John's is uh, right now, they've, they've got to come in here and they've got to beat Denver. So mm -hmm. we've got to be on, mindful of that. We've got to know our own agenda as well, which is to try to stay undefeated in the league, get that first seed in the league tournament. Um, and, and kind of go from there. But, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to be playing a fired up St. John's team this week. Right. And then last question. Um, there were so many close games this past weekend, you know, Loyola taking Navy to overtime as well and, and squeaking out a win there. Um, what can you say about the whole landscape of, landscape of college lacrosse right now where there are so many good teams? Well, it, it, it's that. There's so many good teams and, you know, as many as some of these teams can stockpile good players, you can only play 10 at a time. And mm -hmm. so everybody has good players. And uh, we talk a lot about it to our team about what's the mentality of your opponent. And uh, if the opponent is more motivated than you, it doesn't matter if they are number 65 in the country mm -hmm. or number one in the country, it's going to be a battle. Okay. And so uh, matching that, that uh, energy that, that some of the underdogs come up with, it's even interesting to see that some of the teams that uh, – our favorites in games, even if they're not one of the top, top teams, sometimes right. struggle as well. So mm -hmm. I think it's just uh, young men that are playing a tough game. It's, it's getting toward the end of the season. It's becoming more and more important, and everybody's ramped up. Hopefully the weather will start getting better, uh, and you're going to see some great games down the next month, month and a half. Right. Well, thanks for joining me today. Good luck this weekend, and thanks for tuning in to the DU Weekly Check-In.